before. You know, most of the people who have seen it before have not sat in the front row because they don't want to get splashed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the reason. Uh, I've seen that. But, uh, I haven't done very many paintings in the last uh, recent year. I just thought I'd, I'd let you know why, uh, in as much as uh, your president was pointing out that half the tapes in that uh, <laughs> demo is my, are mine. <laughs> the demo library. So, uh, I, before I, I start, I want to make sure that. I acknowledge the fact that the, the Art, uh, Art Association here has gotten some really good PR lately and done some really good things out there in the field. And I, I think everybody that's associated with and those of us who are uh, members who don't come too many off, too often are really proud of this organization and what you've been doing and, and the good, good work that the president has and uh, all the members. Uh, it's it's really something to be uh, cherished here in Del Mar County, and, and I think that uh, what you have done and gotten that good publicity is really, really uh, the kind of thing that you should be doing and are doing. So congratulations. Amen. To you. <coughs> Thank you. Also, I wanted to to make sure that you knew that uh, one of your members, Lee was the best of show up at the uh, uh, Azalea. Yeah. Right. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. At the, at the uh, Art Association for our, our group here is coming very well. Now I, as I say, I haven't done very many paintings. This is, this, why, this is one of the reasons. Uh, this book, I, I got into wildflowers, as you may mm -hmm. have heard, for some reason. Uh, in Ruby Van Dievender. And so this book came out <coughs> last fall, this fall, no, last fall, and uh, it's about Ruby Van Dievender and wildflowers. And <coughs> just because I'm an art major, this is what happened, this is why it happened. Uh, and it's got about 120 paintings of Arthur. I noticed that there's more paintings showing up around here with wildflowers in them. And photographs. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that wonderful? Well, we had this, this hanging was themed that way. Oh, Del Norte. Uh, isn't that, that's great. Yeah. Now, this book, uh, I'm on the thing as, as an editor. Uh, I'm really not an editor. I, I'm just, I'm just kind of a whip. Uh, <laughs> I saw the thing through. The other thing is, is uh, with the wild, with that, uh, we've had a couple of, what? This we had three wildflower shows. So there's one every year. The last one very successful. We had a we decided to have a, a coloring book. Now you folks have had a coloring book. Uh, the members have had a coloring book. There's there's a the tribe has a coloring book. A lot of coloring books, which is is a great thing. We we did one for the our wildflower show has <coughs> an educational uh, point of view to it, and so we developed one for the third graders, which we invite every year to our, so we gave out over 350 coloring books to the third graders in Del Mar County before the show. <coughs> and so when they came to the show, everybody came, a few didn't make it, but most everybody came. <coughs> they had already had this coloring book with, with a dozen flowers in it, and the teachers told us that uh, now, this, this because we did that, and they came to the show, they said, oh, I, I've seen that in the backyard or that show. So they're, they're really catching on to the fact that we've got some tremendous wildflowers in Denmark County, and they're beginning to identify them and look them carefully. So, so that coloring book, I just got the idea of having seen some others. So <coughs> I, I work at the, uh, as a volunteer at the museum, and and been out to the lighthouse, of course, is a subject that many of us have. So I, I just, I did a wild, a, a coloring book for the lighthouses in our county. You know, we have two of the most amazing white lighthouses in the whole country here, mm -hmm. Point St. George and, and the Battery Point. So I did a coloring book that the uh, 
historical society is going to publish and in fact started publishing it of the, the lighthouse this year. So that's right. Those are Rick, some of the things Rick, that Rick <laughs> may we may our gallery sell that colored book? Oh, I, You're a member and you made the book. Why well, we would be happy to sell it for you. Yeah, sure. We can leave it here. I, I don't have the, any copies right now. I <coughs> we've they've uh, they haven't done they've. they've found a publisher that's a little too expensive for my life. Mm -hmm. We gave away the coloring book to the third graders, and then we sold them for two dollars. This one, this one is going to have a, it's got a price on it that's too high for me, I think. They have, what is it? They have four seventy-five. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> a <laughs> 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 that, None of my pictures are worth four dollars. Oh, no. <laughs> we'll sell it for five dollars. Anyhow, uh, yeah, that's what I've been doing, and, and and so I don't know, Coretta, you know, without having anything else to do, she decided, oh, we'll we'll bother Bennett again. <laughs> yeah. Aren't we glad I did? You haven't seen anything yet. You don't know. <laughs> I I do it. I do the watercolor. That's about it. Do uh, pencil sketches and watercolors. Uh, and I, these people here, like Dorothy, who outdoes me all the time. A lot of, a lot of you who've been doing well. I just so I finally decided I'd do a different style, and I call it wet on wet. So what I've done is I've, I've had a piece of paper in here. I'm going to uh, do a wet on wet, and that's one of the reasons that I. I have two boards here. One of them has got linoleum on it, which will not absorb much water. It'll keep the paper wet for me. And the other one is plain board. Dry it out. And then, it uses, <coughs> uh, then it uses the color. And then, it, then I can paint on it when some of the detail. Uh, the, two years ago, uh, I did a, had a show, and I said I had a lot of boats. I do a lot of boats in the harbor, and I told them that I did boats because they had nice lines, like women. <laughs> <laughs> and then a year ago, last year, I did a, a woman because it had nice lines, like a boat. <laughs> <laughs> now this year, I, I've abandoned all of that foolishness. I'm I'm doing the whole bit. I'm doing a, a boat, a dock, a sky, a plant. Everything's in it. So and a woman. Hmm? And, and a woman. woman. <laughs> <laughs> They're all sitting here in the in the audience. <laughs> and uh, we'll just have to, to make do with what we've got. I guess it's in the audience. So I've had this uh, paper. I do a sketch on it. More or less, what I think will, you know, I can get by with when I do this demonstration, and it's been soaking. I just put it in there this morning. Sometimes I can soak it overnight. You, you soak it too long, and the thing dis you know, it just disappears. <laughs> but you, you can barely see it. It's, it. There's a sketch on it. It's got, it's got the dock. It's got a boat. It's got a pickup. Got the uh, ice plant. And that sort of thing. Do you want to hold it up again, Rick? Oh, show, the, right. show the camera. Where's that camera? There it is. All right. <laughs> Just a sketch on it. So, are you going to tell us about your traveling bathtub? None of us have to, for the watercolors, we always have to find a bathtub to soak our yeah. watercolors in. I used to have a big tray that was kind of awkward. And then somebody here at the... Doris. Doris decided, well, that's stupid. <laughs> so, so, so she suggested very nicely that maybe there was a better way. So she suggested I could get a, one of these things, a pipe, which didn't hardly cost very much. They even cut it off for you and got a glue Maybe on you the could bottom. patent it. <coughs> yeah. Maybe you could patent it. Yeah. I don't think so. Uh, yeah. But anyhow, uh, so it, it uh, you roll up your water and your paper and put it in there, and it's much easier than carrying a big tray of water around. Do you, have you ever tipped it over and ruined all your stuff? No, no. I, I, people 
frown on water all over the rug. <laughs> so I try to avoid that. Hey, Rick, what paper, what paper weight is that? Oh, I use, a, I use uh, the Art Association's 140-pound paper. Good. Arches. Okay. Arches. I don't like the heavier paper. <coughs> I, I, it doesn't either. work for me. Mm. So I use that. This is just seems to be just right. Uh, I do have water. <laughs> Got a sponge. And <coughs> what I'm going to do with the sketches, you know, those of you who remember, I'm going to I'm going to take a pencil and and sort of incise where the uh, the lines are on it. Is that a special pencil? It's a it's the one I can find that has a fairly sharp <laughs> point on it. <laughs> uh, this one says Empire USA <laughs> 2. I do have uh, some backups, which th that are mostly. I use, use I like to use uh, only a 2B pencil, but nothing special. Uh, the one that, no doubt, the, the, uh, the lead will break once or twice. You said you incite? Pardon? What, 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 what are you doing? It's called blending. You use the word incise. Oh, incising. I, I, I'm tracing. Now I'm just copying over. Uh, what happens is I. Uh, what I the sketch I've done on here, I'm, I'm just going over it with this pencil. Mm -hmm. And it'll uh, and it sort of incises the the line. So it'll take me a minute here to. Okay, so I need a dictionary. What's incising? Well, presses <laughs> down makes <laughs> an indentation. <laughs> That's what I thought. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You learned a new word. That's right. He's putting pressure. Never on. too old to learn. Mm -hmm. Nice. And watch when he puts color on it. Yeah. Now, what this what this does, <laughs> among other things, it uh, delineates where the color will go. And as you can see, it's a pretty wet piece of paper. Oh, so the color follows the darker line, so the pencil's not showing as much through yeah, the, the water color. And especially when I have a boat with masts and, and lines on it, uh, the uh, the lines will fill in, mm -hmm. and I don't have to uh, paint line too many lines on the, on the painting. Uh, so is that one of the benefits of the wet on wet? That's one it of the things that I find the benefit to it. I'm a, also, as I said, I have a doing the whole bit here. I've not only got a dock and boats and pickup, uh, I've got some, the, the uh, shoreline with some plants and flowers on it. And uh, the dock with these pilings. And <laughs> some of the, you know, people can certainly criticize the fact that a, I'm, a <coughs> I'm not too, too accurate as far as uh, the items that are really out there. And I, I keep coming back to the fact that, you know, it, this, is not, this is not the dock. This is a piece of paper with some pencil lines on it. And eventually it'll have some pigment on it. Mm -hmm. you know, it's, just, yeah. it's just pigment, <coughs> paper, wa and water. <coughs> a is that right? Is it a pigment of your imagination? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 That's why he's president. Write that one down. Pigment of your imagination.
to the noise that has to be. Anyhow, I don't know if you that. <laughs> it's a little darker now. I've got some uh -huh. extra marks now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She got it. Good. Got an upside down. So it, that's all right. <coughs> I could paint it upside down, probably. <laughs> okay. Water. <coughs> Gasky water, do not do. <laughs> uh, my palate, is, I've had it for a few years. I can't find another one any better. Uh, I make sure that, you know, I'm pretty cheap, so I, I never have to waste the color. I keep wetting it every, every few years and it comes back. <laughs> Well, we'll hope this has got enough pencil marks on it. I do use brushes. I don't finger paint anymore. <laughs> uh, the brushes, all kinds, nice big fat ones, nice and expensive. But, you know, once you get a good brush and you keep it nice and clean, you can have it forever. Good. So I have, I have brushes here I, I bought 60 years ago. And they're still fine. Thing about being cheap. Mm -hmm. we'll go. And that uh, one in your hand is a $50 brush, isn't it? Yeah. Well, if you go out and buy it today, I suppose, it's got a, you know, it's a Windsor Newton yeah. Gold mm -hmm. 580 or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's about an inch and a quarter brush. And I use that, mainly I'll use some of, I'll use this, I'm going to use, put a sky in there. Uh, some, I'll start out with what used to be what you sometimes see in Del Norte. <coughs> in the olden days? So, a little, a little dark. You know what, you can also, one of the things I found about this wet on wet, now if I take that brush and I want to have a cloud in there, I can take some of it out. Mm -hmm. That happens sometimes. Cool. And then, I also, since I don't have any, you know, Greta isn't over my shoulder, I can put any color I want in <laughs> And uh, so I generally do. I'm pretty free about it. Then, in the, the water, I've got the boat, I've got the dock there. I'm going to use, you know, some of the color that I, I like. One of the things about watercolor that people don't seem to understand is it, it's very important the amount of pigment you get in your pit brush as a, the amount of water. I mean, you just can't soak the brush and then get some paint on it. It doesn't always work very well. So you have to, you have to, you know, uh, this this uh, demonstration, which I started at 12, it'll be over by, you know, quarter to one or less or something like that. People ask you, how, how long does it take to paint a picture? 20 minutes, half an hour, an hour, plus 50, 55 years. You know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and and it's, it's, in those times, you know how much wet, how much mm -hmm. water to put in that brush before you put it on the paper. This way you don't have to go back and do it over and over. Yeah. <laughs> you don't do it over and over, not in watercolor. Mm -hmm. No, sir. Mm -hmm. So anyhow, uh, I'm going to uh, put some water in there now. I use uh, for some. I like good, strong color sometimes. What green did you just add there? What? Let's see. Oh, that's Hooker's. That was the dark green. Uh, you can. I've got a lot of colors here, but you really don't need a lot. You know, they, they, uh, they, they, they can do a lot with just a few colors and depending on how much water you use with them. 
you put a little water in there and you find out how it's working out. Like, like uh, I tell you, every, every time I do this, you know, I, you folks have come to see what, what's going to happen. So I do the same thing. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, think, I think I've got enough right there on that one. I'm going to take a little smaller brush, and I'm going to put the... the, the uh, Shore line in it. The uh, plants that are in the shore. And let's see, I do think I better, before I get too far, I've got to delineate where the water in the dock is there. There's some of these buildings we've got there. The old the plant, ice plant. And then there's a building up close I've got. Uh, it's a different color for that. Maybe, maybe a sienna. got a plant in there, a, a flower. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's make it sort of a pink. And let's see, oh, uh, yeah, I need some more darkness in there. Dock. Between the pilings. And there's some brush up there. Okay, and the the shoreline there has some rocks, which I'll delineate grays and uh, let's see, we'll make a red pickup. Gotta be careful with red, it really spreads. I'll make it a dark red. Uh, <coughs> so let's see, what else? What do you got? I need a green, uh, something about a lighter color for one of those buildings back there. that out. Uh, I've got plenty right here. So just dump that out someplace. Not on the floor. <laughs> Why not? Just in case. Grab them out. Do you always paint standing up? Pardon? Do you always paint standing up? Uh, well, most of the time, yeah. Uh, I'm got, I've gotten a little older lately for some reason. And, <laughs> and if, if it, it allows me to sit, I would. But as you can see, you, you know, you get more, you get more of yourself into it if you're able to use most of your body. 
That's uh, right. So uh, I generally paint fairly close to standing up here. Yeah. Uh, it makes it. It seems to make a difference in terms of the way I like to see the end result. Uh, Where's my bucket? Can you there. Use a piece of you ready? That's good. Thank you, Trudy. He said no water. He said no water. Oh, yeah, that's fine. But the gas deep water is I, was, water. I said I had plenty of water here, so I, you didn't have to. Oh, but that's all right. That's okay. That's good. Yeah, it's going to be a different color. Yeah, I'm going to screw up the color now. That's right. You talk about, you know, the color red, you know. Yeah. Well, when I was in college, the, our uh, pottery instructor said that um, he ordered uranium one time because that goes in red, uh, you know, glaze. And the government came and inspected <laughs> <laughs> because they use that to work with the bombs. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> See that sign that said the ice plant, I painted over it, so I took some of that blue out of there. It was just water. That's, as long as it's still wet, I can do some of that. Uh, Pictures of these scenes, or the, are they in your mind? Or uh, sometimes, the sometimes I can do a picture, but it's it sort of depends on what's what's available. Uh, Rick, is this a technique that you just kind of accidentally came upon? You just experimented and started doing this, or, or did what you the wet and wet type of thing? Yeah, uh, I got <coughs> after a while. I kind of, you know doing the dry, dry stuff, it got a little tedious and tight and so forth. So I thought maybe I, as you get a little, you know, if you've done that for a while, you say, well, maybe there's a different way to approach this. So I, I tried different uh, ways, and I just happened to find this very satisfying as far as I'm concerned, as far as wet on wet type of thing. I love your technique with the, with the wet on wet. It's more like a, a tranquil it really brings on a dreamlike effect when watching you paint. Well, yeah, it dreamlike or nightmare, whichever. <laughs> <laughs> no, it brings on a nice feeling. It's relaxed. Yeah, it's like trying to cool, like a nice bond. Or it makes it look wet. Just don't Whoops. go to sleep. <laughs> Yeah, there's a background down there, too. Uh, uh, even though it may not be, maybe you're looking out at the ocean, but I, I kind of think maybe I'll have a, uh, some of the hills back there that in the, in the way distance back there. Makes for better balance, huh? Yeah, but uh, I guess you you just sort of you know find that something you would like to do once in a while. Uh, I'm almost to the point where I've, I've gotten them, <coughs> you know, I've ruined it far enough this way, <laughs> so I'll, I'm going to take it off the, uh, the uh, linoleum board. I'm going to put it on the w this one. Now it'll dry a little faster now. It won't, it'll be wet for another four or five hours probably, but 
this will cut it down a little bit. Um, I'm going to. I'm going to hurry it along a little bit. Do you use hair dryers? Hmm? Do you use a hair dryer? I've had. I've had. I used to, but lately I haven't bothered too much with it. But yeah, you can hurry your drying if you really think you want to do that. Using this very wet paper, do you ever have a problem with blooms blooming? Uh, well, I, I, if blooms, uh, I, yeah, I, I like I like blooms uh, up to a point, and so I, I. Uh, I, I don't encourage them, but if they're there, why we just work with them, around them. You can, you don't have to have a, you don't have to, to uh, get upset about them. They're just part of life. <laughs> and, uh, the reason I ask that is because I, I went to a demonstration with Doretta, and the gentleman said, as long as your brush is drier than your paper, you won't get a bloom. And so I notice that you're always, like your brush is always drier than your paper, and so. Well, I, I don't know what it, I, I really don't know if it's drier or not. <laughs> But it's still wet enough so I can throw stuff in there, see, which is kind of nice. That, this is, I've got a little indigo, you know. I never used to have indigo until Dorothy told me, buy some indigo. <laughs> and so I got indigo now. And uh, I've got the... Would you believe that Dorothy was in one of my classes once? <laughs> and, and I made her mad because I wanted her to, to make, uh, cut out uh, 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 frames, and, and uh, uh, she didn't like to do that. <laughs> so <laughs> so she, she went on her own, and look what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, but whoops, it didn't come out quite the way. This is my plant there. Because it's wet, some of these these uh, lines are going to kind of fade into each other, but that's all right. I don't mind. If they don't mind. I don't mind. Let's see. I've got I've got a little little brush here that's kind of square. And I use that to for some of those faraway windows, like on that fishing boat. But it's already got a little bit. Shady side. Hey, there's one of your blooms. <laughs> Water dropped on there.
Like blue. <laughs> okay, well, you know, you can go on and on with this thing, as I say, uh, I like half an hour and so forth. You can, you can uh, let it dry and, and put some of the details in there and so as you go get back there it it's uh, it's going to uh, take a while to dry it out but so far so far you can see the colors on it Let's see wait a minute let me get that Did you hold it up Okay. Good. All it, it, it isn't the dock, it isn't the, you know, it isn't the boat. It's, it's, it's some pigment on paper, pigment and water. Uh-huh. And some scale. You know, and yeah. it, uh, as I say, it didn't take very long. Oh. I, can, I could let that dry, and uh, it would, then I could put some of the detail back in it. Uh, oh, my goodness. That'll so keep girl. it flat. Uh -huh. If I left it there for the next couple hours, it would be nice and flat and dry. That's all particle board. That's all particle board. Well, yeah, hold it up one more time, Rick, so I can get a close up there. Let me get it in there close. Okay, well, this is wet. Hold it like very well. Rick, he wanted you to hold it up so what our beloved president wanted you to do a close-up with you holding it up. I'm acting yeah. as the... <laughs> okay. Hold still. You sit okay. Right you got it? Okay, we got it. Got it. Okay, good. Thank you. Now he wants to focus. Wayne Brickos is better than <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know I can... And after it dries... I could put one of those cranes in there, one of those orange cranes. It isn't really dry enough to do that now, but I'll show what happened. dries, you can do all kinds of things, up to a point.
did you promise to come same time next year? Uh, yes. I'm not promising anything. <laughs> <laughs> Can you comment on um, cold press versus hot press piece of paper when you're working um, like that? The paper? Yeah, whether you use the cold press or hot press. Oh, uh, this is this is uh, cold. cold cold press. Yeah, <laughs> it's bump, the cold press is bumpy, the hot press is smooth. But it is is there a? I mean, is, do you have a preference? Do you prefer the cold press or? If you I I I don't know. I guess so. <laughs> whatever works, huh? Whatever, whatever they sell here, that's what I prefer. <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to be facetious. I just, they have very nice paper. The, they have the 140, and then there's the 300 or something like that. Arches. Yes. Arches paper. Is it cold? And it, the, cold the, press. It's all cold press. Yeah, I don't know what. What's the difference between the cold? Hot and cold, I know the yeah. difference between that. It's cold, it's not, it hasn't actually. Oh. Doris says hot is slick and cold is cold has more texture. Oh, the texture. Oh, the texture. Uh, I'll ask you uh, this is over. I want to talk to you about that. I've had, I guess I've had both. Both kinds. Yeah. 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 I guess I've had both kinds. It doesn't really matter an awful lot. If you have one with more texture in it, then, then you get more texture on the face. But, you know, if that's what you like, use it. But I, I just, you know, if if uh, yeah. if it's cheap enough, that's what I use. <laughs> <laughs> use whatever's in your hand. I can't, I can't, uh, I, I can't, you know, I used to have big paper, but it's cheaper to cut it in three or four pieces now, so. Uh, I can, I, also, I do like to, sometimes I like to see a copy of it. You can take it down to the the office supply and get a copy this size, but you can't a big one. Mm -hmm. That's true. So I've suddenly <laughs> gotten to smaller size, <laughs> whatever this is. It's actually, I think it's about a 22, no, it's 11 and a half quarter by... 11 by 17, 17 is, is the... Is oh, that's the big, <coughs> yeah, that's as big as you can get. It's a quarter sheet? It's about a quarter sheet of one of those pieces there. But, so, uh, you know, whatever works. Uh, and and uh, actually, if you find paper that, that you know, is not as uh, like this, then you're going to have to adjust a little bit on, on how much water you use and that sort of thing. If it doesn't, isn't an absorbent like this 140 pound thing, then you've got a different problem and you have to adjust to. Uh, but the key is, my my daughter, my daughter is a very creative young lady, but she's she's now she's now retired. She's that old. Aww. And, 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 she she called me up the other day and said, Dan, I took a watercolor class and I did terrible. Now how do I do it? Over the phone. <laughs> I've been painting for 50 years or 60 years. Uh, she thought maybe she should be able to just start oh, up. <laughs> oh, I, said, I said, patience, my dear, patience. Yeah. <laughs> and and that's, that goes true with, with anything. All of the, you folks know, you know that, that it works that way. You just don't, you, just like me, I don't know how it's going to turn out. And you don't, and you can't have too many expectations Unless you you expect it to be fun mm. uh, and, and make it fun, mm -hmm. uh, you know I, I just I can't find any reason to get all tied up about it. So so the water the color runs into the next color. Mm -hmm. You know, life goes on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, and and it's, and it still doesn't change the fact that. This is just paper, mm -hmm. pen, uh, pencil, some paint, pigment, and water. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. It isn't a, it isn't a dock. It isn't water. Uh, it isn't a boat. And that's what I've tried mm -hmm. to preach my students over the years. Mm -hmm. That you know your your creativeness is is very important, and it has different aspects. And it it wants to show 
you, what you do, and what you feel. Uh, so that's that's what I do. I have fun doing. So thank you for your thank attention. Thank you. <coughs>